Hi there, my name is Fraser Noble and I'm a lecturer at Massey University's School of Engineering and Advanced Technology in Auckland, New Zealand. This video is my first video at uh, showing people how to get started uh, with OpenCV, the Open Compu uh, Computer Vision Library. Uh, what I would like to be able to do today is show you how you can set up your environmental variables and write a program that uses the OpenCV libraries and to help uh, speed things up next time, uh, create some property sheets so that uh, everything works and it's just an easy process. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is go to um, the OpenCV website. So if we go to opencv.org and we'll see that we can download the uh, library. Uh, so you'll find that it's supported for Windows, Linux, Mac, Android and iOS. Now, I use Windows, and so we're just going to download the uh, OpenCV library uh, by clicking. Uh, we should see that it will take us to a SourceForge page, and after a few seconds, it will download the uh, library. Now, it's a hefty download. It's a few hundred meg. Uh, probably take three to four minutes to download, and um, fortunately, I've already downloaded it, so uh, we don't have to wait. Now, the download is a um, self-extracting zip file and it'll extract that to a directory. Now, for me, I extracted it to C OpenCV, and it created then the subdirectory of OpenCV. And if we take some time just to look at the directories inside of that folder, uh, we'll see that there's a couple that um, are important. Now, build and source. So build is the pre-compiled library. Uh, it's the one we're largely gonna be looking at today. But if you were interested in compiling OpenCV from its source code, you can access the source code in here. Uh, later tutorial, we'll look at how do we actually build OpenCV ourselves, but we'll just use the pre-compiled libraries today. If you come in here, we'll see there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, directories. And the main one that I'd point out is include and x64. If we look inside include, this is all of the uh, header files for each of the OpenCV um, core kind of library uh, parts. So, and x64 is where we'll find the um, the library files and the dynamic link library file uh, f um, files for uh, corresponding Visual Studio versions. Now, I've used Visual Studio 2017, uh, which should be uh, you should find that the VC14 uh, will work for that. So, if you open that up, you'll find that there's two folders: bin and lib. So bin has the DLLs, and lib has the lib files. So uh, now that we've got the uh, OpenCV library downloaded and extracted, we need to be able to uh, add this bin file to the path uh, variable on our system so that we can access these um, DLLs. So how do we do that? Well, if we go to start and we type in path, you're likely to find that uh, this option here comes up. Edit environmental variables for your account or, or system environmental variables. And we're gonna click on this one here, edit the system environment variables. Click on that, this window pops up and this little option here is what we're gonna click. To click on that, we're gonna look for uh, a system variable named path. So if we scroll down, there we go. Uh, C programs, NVIDIA, and we just click that. Uh, the variable name is path and the variable value is uh, the paths that we want um, the system to be able to look in to find the DLLs. Now I installed uh, OpenCV as I said into C OpenCV and then the directories that get to that bin file were build x64 vc14 bin and I've just added them onto the end of the pre-existing uh, variable value of the path um, variable. So there it is, click OK, OK, OK. So now we've got the bin um, folder on the uh, path. Now we need to um, basically get started with writing our program. So we're gonna uh, just open up Visual Studio 2017. And what we need to do is create a new project. Uh, so what we need to do is go File, New, Project, and we're just going to create a Win32 console application. And we're going to say this one is called Getting Started. 
and I'm just going to click OK, and it's just going to be uh, installed into my H drive under the um, folder project, OpenCV projects. Click OK. Whoops, I've already got a project name getting started. Let's call it OpenCV. We're going to go OK. So uh, we're just going to go next and create an empty project and click finish. Alright, so now we've got our uh, empty project. We're just going to add on a source file. So if we right click on source files, add new item, and we're just going to create one called main.cc. So in there, we're going to add all our source code. Uh, before we do, though, uh, we'll create a property sheet which will say, uh, which will tell the, um, the compiler where to find the include files, where to find the um, the lib files and, and what lib files to uh, link with. So uh, let's go to our property manager and now I'm using a Windows 64 machine so I'm going to create a property sheet for the debug 64. And the process for creating the uh, property sheet for debug is the exact same process as creating a, a property sheet for release though um, on the actual libs files that we um, uh, add into the linker, uh, we just don't have the D on the end of them. So we'll look at that shortly, but I just wanted to mention that uh, the process for setting up a property sheet for debug is similar to release. So what we're going to do is right click on debug and we're going to add a new property sheet. We'll click that. And now we could create a property sheet per project or we could be smart and create a single property sheet which we can just add on to subsequent projects. So rather than creating it in the getting started uh, OpenCV directory, we're just going to go one down and have it there as almost like a common property sheet for all of our OpenCV based projects. And we're just going to call it OpenCV debug. Oops, I've already got one named OpenCV debug. So I'll just tweak it slightly. There we go. So now that we've got our uh, property sheet set up, uh, we just need to change a couple of things inside of it. So if we double click on OpenCV underscore debug, uh, there's two things we need to look at. In C and C++, we need to say where the include directory is. And in linker, we need to say where the additional um, uh, libraries are and which libraries do we want to import. So let's first say where the linker is, uh, the additional includes are. So additional include directories, we're just going to click and edit and add a new line and browse to the C OpenCV OpenCV uh, build include uh, directory. So if you go C OpenCV OpenCV build include and then select folder. So now we'll be able to do hash include and then OpenCV2 and then any of the OpenCV libraries. Okay, so the next thing we needed to do was uh, set up our linker. So if we expand out linker and we click on general, we're going to find the additional library directories. And so that's going to be the lib folder in the x64 vc14 um, folder that we looked at earlier. So we're just going to go edit, add a new line, and we're going to browse. And we're going to go back to C, OpenCV, OpenCV, build, Scroll down to x64, vc14, lib, select folder. Okay, and so now we've told it where to find those additional libraries. And we just need to then add on what the additional dependencies are. So we're going to click on linker input, additional dependencies, click, and we're going to edit. And we're just going to add in the opencv underscore world 320d for debug dot lib. And OK. Go apply. And OK. So now this property sheet it will tell the compiler where to find the additional includes, uh, the libs, and uh, which lib files to uh, include. Uh, sorry, to link with. Now, if we've done everything correctly and we've got everything set up as I've described, we should be able to type in hash include OpenCV and start to see some of those OpenCV libraries. So let's have a look. So, hash include. 
open CV. Ah, so made a mistake here, but it's good that we've seen what's uh, what, what, what we've done here. Notice how I've created the debug for the 64-bit uh, uh, debug. But here I've still got it set for x86. So if I change that to x64, now I should be able to use all of the um, information I've added into the 64-bit uh, debug property sheet. So if I come and try and type in that hash include OpenCV, now we'll see that the OpenCV uh, to an OpenCV library uh, uh, available. Now within the OpenCV2 uh, library you'll find there's a list of folders and you can individually add an each of those or if you're just getting started and you want to make sure that you include uh, the right libraries uh, ahead of files then just use the OpenCV.hpp header file and that'll include everything you need. So let's go and create a rest of our program. So uh, count hugs s there we go, sorry, my bad. And just return zero. So in this program we want to get an image from a camera and display it on the screen. So what we need to be able to create is a matte object to hold the image data and a video capture to uh, basically describe the camera. We need to then create a named window which will display the image and after our program is finished displaying that image we're going to uh, close the uh, window and release any of the hardware that we've reserved. So, right, so let's have a look at how we do that. So first off we need to create a image to hold data so we're going to create a matte object named image we need to get data from a camera, so we're going to create a CV video capture um, uh, object and I'm going to call it camera and I'm going to uh, pass the constructor the value 0 and that will detect the uh, default camera uh, which could be if you've got one camera it'll be the one camera that you've got or if you've got multiple ones it, it could vary. Um, I've got two cameras on mine, so one which I'm talking to you through, the um, and, uh, Intel's RealSense camera, and then I've also got a C920 uh, Logitech USB camera. So chances are it's going to pull in the, um, the, the picture from my Logitech camera, uh, which will show just a picture of my uh, messy desk, which goes alongside with my messy office. So uh, I've got my camera, I've got my image, now I need to be able to uh, display it somehow so I'm going to create a named uh, window and I'm going to name that window hello world and I want that window to resize to uh, any uh, the image size that I pass it so uh, I'm going to set the flag window auto size oh sorry, don't want to open there, window auto size and now I want to get a image from the camera. So it's kind of, we can do that in a syntax that's similar to how you would get text from the console. So if we type in camera and then uh, to image like this, then we'll extract a single frame from the camera. And I can display that. So um, let's just check that we've actually got something to display. So if not image dot is em uh, empty. So just checking to see that I've actually got some data to display. Uh, we can do the cd I am show into the window hello world the image image and we don't want our program to close straight away because we want to be able to see what we've actually captured. So what we're going to do is just wait indefinitely until the uh, user pushes a key, and any key in this case. And once the user's pushed a key, we want to release uh, any hardware and destroy uh, any windows. Uh, so basically tidying up after ourselves. So we're going to go CV destroy all windows and we're going to release the camera camera.release and that's it so if we've done everything correctly and we've got um, 
and everything's set up properly, then when I push F5 to compile and build this program, we should see a window pop up on the screen. Great, there we go. So there's a picture of my messy desk. It's got some paper and a screwdriver pointing in there, but otherwise, it all worked. If I push escape or any other button, window goes away, program's released. And so, essentially we've got our um, everything working. So, uh, hopefully, that's uh, enough to get you started on your journey to working with OpenCV and doing some interesting image processing and computer vision um, uh, projects. So, if you're interested in hearing more from me about uh, projects that I'm working on or, or some of the tutorials that I'm uh, preparing, uh, why not follow me on Twitter? Uh, my handle is Fraser uh, Noble, and um, I hope to hear from you and send me your comments. Uh, it's my first video, so <laughs> hopefully it's uh, been informative and helpful for you. So, uh, cheers, and I'll leave it there.